Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. Welcome to another video from Castor WPF. And in this video, we are going to discuss about high value converter. And uh, we'll also look into a live example today, explaining the scenario of it. So to get things started, I have created a simple WPF project and uh, got it ready for you. There's nothing fancy here going on so far. So now if you're already familiar with the uh, XAML data binding, I guess you might have heard about iValue converter. And if you're not, I would suggest you to check out my other videos related to XAML data binding um, because we have a pretty good use case scenario and the basic tutorial videos available already in the channel. I-value converter is an interface used to convert binded input value by doing some in simple operations and return back things to the UI. So it can be of a same type, it can return a different type as well. So things will get complicated if you are proceeding with data binding everything. So especially if you are going to implement MVVM principle. In some point of time, you might want to do some calculations based upon the binded value and uh, return the results based upon that. So that's where the I value converter comes into picture. So note that it has both convert and convert back scenario. And today's session, we are going to see the convert alone. So let's go and see a live example of convert. So thinking of a way to show it simpler, I came up with a example where you type in the color in a text box and magically our I value converter changes the foreground of the text based upon the text value. First thing first, we'll create a class for I value converter. So that's why uh, we are going to create a class called text to brush converter which implements i value converter so if you use visual studio intellisense it actually does the job for you in implementing the interface so once it is done you can see convert and convert back function considering we are just going to impl implement convert functions alone we will dive into the logic by commenting out the implemented exception. So our logic is if user types in a color, we have to return a brush based upon the type of the color. So by before checking the text, we will have a default black brush, which acts as a fallback in case our scenario doesn't match the color user is typing. So the next thing is we have to actually check the input value is string or not. If it is not a string, our fallback actually takes care of returning the black brush. So we will create a temporary string object which takes in the object value. Before doing the switch, we will convert it into lower lower case so inside the switch cases we will write our cases and set the return brush accordingly so for example blue text set the return brush to blue and in a red red case we will return the we'll set the return brush to red brush so the next step is we go back to the xaml file and define our i value converter in the window resources so we create the resource from the local and uh, get the text to brush converter and we'll give a key as brush converter so note that it is uh, yelling at me the intellisense uh, we have to build once to get rid of it because every time you create a i value converter in the back end you have to build it so that it is available for um, for the designer resource 
and next step is we are going to create a text box control which has text property as well as foreground property so first we will focus on foreground property and uh, which is supposed to bind the text property and later we will actually bind to the backend created property now to use i value converter mention the converter in the binding and use the static resources which we created earlier <laughs> now just set the height to 50 and uh, give it a margin of 10 and now going back to the main window we will create a property called color text which we will bind it in our text box of the text property so in order to do that we will implement i notify property changed interface and i'm going to fast forward this because in order to actually understand how i notify property change works please see the other videos that i have already done in data binding basics all right now that we have created a color text property we bind it to the text property of our text box and we need to specify the relative source to the window since we are not explicitly telling uh, the data context of this ui is going to be my main window so we have to add our update source trigger to property changed now in the foreground instead of having the text property we will bind it to actual variable our variable color text and uh, copy the same relative source and update trigger to the foreground binding as well now set the text height to much bigger in order to make our visibility more comfortable let's start this test so i'm building it and starting the application now by default uh, the text will be black because it doesn't match to any of our colors but at the end of typing blue you get the blue color and typing in red you get the red color as a foreground so with this we will conclude the first part of the video and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more educational contents thanks for watching bye